Hello, I'm Furkan Aden. On February 6, 2023, we encountered earthquakes that deeply saddened us all. Not only our country, but also neighboring countries, especially Syria, felt it in them. There were demolitions and loss of life in Syria as well. We wish God's mercy on those who lost their lives in the earthquakes in Karamanmaras, a speedy recovery and patience to the survivors and the injured. As you read in the title, is an earthquake a disaster or a natural event? I will answer the question when my tongue returns. First, let's ask the question, what is a disaster? Destruction caused by various natural events, says the Turkish Language Association. When we search for the meaning of disaster, for an event to qualify as a disaster, it must be large enough to effectively affect people or the environment in which people live. From this point of view, disaster is the result of an event rather than an event. Natural events, on the other hand, are explained as they occur spontaneously in nature as a result of the formation of certain events in a certain balance and cycle. In other words, an earthquake is a natural event, but events such as destruction and death become disasters thanks to the energy it has given birth to and unleashed. If we do not take precautions by saying that an earthquake is a disaster, unfortunately, as we live, as we witness, disaster emerges, death occurs. Let's give an example of this issue. Isn't Arabian nature warm? When we go there, we wear thin clothes so that we don't get hurt by the heat. Because we know its nature, we act accordingly. If we go to Yukusha with the clothes we wear in Arabia, we will freeze. Because there is a cold that reaches minus 71 degrees Celsius. It is imperative that we dress thickly, even a scarf. Or we cannot wear the clothes we wear in Yukusha in Arabia. We need to wear clothes suitable for the nature of both, so that nothing happens to us. We need to take our action. Isn't the Black Sea the most rainy place in our country? Here, the roofs of the houses must be solid so that water does not get inside, so that we do not get wet. Or, let's not build houses on the creek beds so that if the creek overflows due to rain and snow, nothing will happen to us. We need to take the precaution and act in accordance with the nature of the Black Sea. Or if we are doing business with overseas or transoceanic countries, our ship must be solid. So that if we are exposed to strong waves by nature, the ship will not be damaged and we will not sink. If he does not take precautions, we will set out with the unsound ship and then go down to the bottom of the water with a hard wave. When my tongue turned, I counted three samples. If you have noticed, nature is not shaped by us, we have to shape what we will do according to nature. If we are not shaped according to nature, then disaster happens. So everything goes through us. For those who believe, this world is the world of testing. So I'm not talking about being cornered by saying that everything comes from him. We will take measures, we will put our trust, after the delivery. But we sons of Adam surrender immediately. No action. No trust. We park our car in the middle of the street. On the switch. We're going home with the doors unlocked. We come in the morning, the car is not in place. We say, God help me. We could have parked the car in the parking lot, locked it and gone home. So we could have taken precautions and then found trust. God, I did my best. I towed my car to a safe place. It's your turn to say. We do not learn lessons in any earthquake. We saw the buildings that were not destroyed in the earthquake that we call the disaster of the century, or the disaster of the century, and even the decorations in the shop under a building are intact. So it's time to take action. If we put in the missing material because we will make a profit of three or five cents, the earthquake, which is a natural event, will be the disaster of the century. We must first be moral. In order to make profit, we should not cause lives and souls. We need to build structures accordingly in the earthquake zone with precaution. Then, these structures should be under the supervision of qualified people. If it is missing, it must be completed. It shouldn't be allowed, when it is understood that the buildings built without precaution cause lives. Rather than the contractor who is the last item, there are all the approvals and approvals until it comes to him. It should not go unpunished by being properly examined. Finally, we are a country living in an earthquake zone. Why this love of concrete? Why this love of tall buildings? Can't we go back to the old-fashioned wooden one- to two-story buildings? Why don't we take precautions or go against nature and not act according to nature's shape?